Human female reproductive system is composed of two basic parts. One is external genitalia and other is internal genitalia. External genitalia is consist of mass pubis, labia majora, labia minora, highly sensitive clitoris and vestibule. If we have a glance on external genitalia, there is a broad area pubis, monos pubis. And here is external genitalia, first part. It is a skin fold which is analogous to scrotum. It is called as labia major. Here is present erectile clitoris or glance clitoris. It have a lot of sensory neurons and highly sensitive during sexual erosion. And inside, here is labia minor. These are all skin folds are erected here. These are all skin folds are joined there, joined there. And this whole area, it is called as vestibule. Here is two openings. One is urethral opening. And below there is vaginal opening. So in human females, there are separate passageways for urethra and for reproductive purposes. So it is external genitalia of human females. If we label it, so it is monos pubis. It is the upper skin fold of pubic hyphysis. It is clitoris, highly sensitive area. It is also referred as glass clitoris. It is analogous to human male glass penis. It is labium, singular labium, labium major, and labium minor or minor. It is urethral opening. It is urethra and here is vaginal opening or vagina and here is anus and this all external genitalia is called vulva. So it is external reproductive structure of human female. Now we have a proper view of internal female reproductive structure. The human female reproductive structure is made up of some major components or parts. These are S. Here is labium majora. It is a skin fold. And below labium majorum, there is labium minora. And here is two openings. One opening is of urethral opening. It start from here. It is a urethral opening and it opens into the urinary bladder. Here is a urinary bladder. And behind urinary bladder, there is present very important structure. Uh, we say it is about uh, upward of the urinary bladder like this. And this is a sac. The sac is an opening like structure which is called cervix. It is uterus and uh, here is the structure, very important structure. This is a ligament and above ligament there is present ovary. Ovary is about uh, 3 to 5 centimeter long and 2 to 3 centimeter wide and here is present fembrii. Fembrii is a first part of fallopian tube then there is a fallopian tube which opens into the uterus and uh, here is present other systems of human females like here is present uh, vertebral column and here is 
the vertebral column. And here is digestive tract. Here is anus uh, at this position. And then there is a rectum. So it is a lateral view of human reproductive structure. So it is labium, majora and minora. It is urinary bladder. Here is uterus. It is anus and here is vagina. It is cervix. It is a neck like structure and it is ovary, pemberii and oviduct. So human female reproductive system is composed of different parts and uh, if we have a transverse section from ventral view here is present the birth canal or vagina. Birth canal or vagina start from here and uh, it is vaginal opening and it is a vagina. The medium of vagina is highly acidic. It is an entrance of the structure inside the body. So it have to protect it from the outside environment. Here is present a neck like structure like this. This neck like structure is called cervix and then it open into a pear shaped structure this pear shaped structure called as uterus so cervix is a fold skin fold and it is entrance of the uh, vagina into the uh, uterus and here are present as two basic these very important structures are ovaries here are present ovaries. So, here are present ovaries. These ovaries are ovoid structure, these are solid and uh, these are basically uh, 2 to 3 centimeter uh, long and uh, 3 to 5 centimeter long uh, in this option and 2 to 3 centimeter wide. These are fembrii. These are not entered into the uterus. It is just uh, the connection just like a vacuum pump. And uh, here is the infundibulum, the first part of the uterine duct or oviduct is infundibulum. Then they move and here is a long structure which is called as ampulla. Ampulla is a long structure and it curves downward to asthium. There are three parts. It is infundibulum it is the longest part it is called ampulla if fertilization occur so there should be the union of sperm and egg this is the part uh, it is also called proximal part of the oviduct or fallopian tube where fertilization occurs and uh, it is this one portion is called as fundus it is a dome like structure and here is a body. There are three major layers of uh, uterus. The innermost is called as endometrium. And then there is a muscular bands. There are present muscles. These muscles are called as myometrium and outer structure is called as perimetrium. So dear students, there are three layers. Perimetrium, it is the outermost. Endometrium and a myometrium, these are muscular structures. So it is the a transfer section. Uh, here is a birth canal, then there is a uterus, which is a pear shape, there is a fundus, there, these are the ovaries, there is a, a present uh, fembrii. 
how these ovaries are attached with the uterus there is present some ligaments these are the ligaments which uh, attach ovaries with the uterus now question arise what is the lateral view major parts of the female reproductive system from lateral view there is an anterior portion it is a dome like structure it is called fundus and then it is the body from here it make a curve like this at the curve there is a cervix and this one is a vaginal opening actually it is covered the bladder urinary bladder here is a urinary bladder and it open into the urethra and uh, here is present uh, uh, ovary and uh, there is present fembrii and uh, ampulla this one is ampulla and then this is a uh, first portion is called infandibulum then longest part it is about 10 centimeter long and it is infandibulum and here is uh, ampulla and this is the Asthma. This dome like structure, it is the fundus, it is ovary, it is fallopian tube or oviduct, and uh, this one is the house of the fetus. The developing baby develops here, and this one is the entrance, it is a neck like structure. It is called as infandi below. So dear students, today we learn about anatomy of human female reproductive structure. In next articles, we will learn about the hormonal control. Thank you very much.